The Ashlands update has just hit the public test branch, and there is a huge amount to cover, featuring the Ashlands biome, and with it new enemies, materials, buildables, rideables, and catapults. So let's break down the update, covering what we've seen in the trailer, what I've come across so far in the Ashlands, and also what's been announced on their patch notes. Now, this does mean that there will be spoilers ahead, but before we get into all of that, if you do want to check out the Ashlands today yourself, you can do by joining the Persistent Test branch. It's available to everyone, just be warned that it isn't as stable as the main branch, and I've personally had several crashes today trying to load the game. But with that out of the way, let's break down the trailer. Now, the very first clip that we have features a brand new Drakkar ship. Now, given the water around the Ashlands boils with heat, you'll need this to protect yourself when sailing. It also uses the ceramic plates which can be produced at the artisan table with the artisan press which is unlocked with the Seeker Queen drop from the Mistlands. Now we then see one of the many ruins in the Ashlands along with the burnt trees that produce ash wood when destroyed and a Morgan which drops Morgan hearts. This freaky bundle of bones is actually the first of 13 new enemies that we have in this update so quite uh, a lot ahead of us. Now the following shot is of a fallen Valkyrie which drops celestial feathers that is going to be very useful for mages and producing the new weapons. We then have a mix of charred warriors which are on a charred fortress. We're going to cover that in a little bit but in quick succession after this we have a charred giant. I haven't actually been able to find this character at all in the Mistlands. So if you do come across it, uh, do let me know in the comments. We then see briefly a new staff and armor fighting the fallen Valkyrie. And then we have the Bone Maw Serpent, which drops Bone Maw meat and also teeth. Here we have adventurers heading into the Ashlands. You'll also notice unstable lava rocks on the left. These will explode if damage is done to them so just be aware of that. We also have a shield generator this is going to protect your builds from the weather events. We also have a heap of new buildables that I'm going to talk about shortly as well. At this point they showcase the basalt or basalt I think it is bombs which you'll be able to use in order to create walkways across the lava flats, allowing you to access the flame metal ore, which you can see here. We also get to see some of the flame metal armor and weaponry. There's a total of three new armor sets, which I'll talk about shortly, and also over 30 new weapons to play around with for this update. Now in this shot, we do get to see the first of the Ashland fortresses. These have a garrison of charred enemies, which we'll cover shortly, but reward you with rare resources such as Jade, Lolite, and Bloodstone. They also provide you with bell fragments, and if you're lucky, they'll also have the location of the Ashlands boss. And whilst traveling the waste, you're going to be finding many other creatures around, including vultures, uh, which can be killed for vulture meat. They also have vulture eggs, though I'm not sure if we can tame them like chickens for ourselves. I'll have to try that out in a future video. Now, one of my favorite things about the Ashlands, as you can see here, is the huge change in scenery. Rather than nature, you're going to be finding the remnants of an ancient civilization scattered around the Ashland wastes and you're also going to have plenty of lore scattered amongst the, the rocks to give you a, a bit of background as to what's happened here. Whilst exploring these ruins you'll also find some new items including the new creeper plants which will come in use later on as well. Alongside the Bone Moor, which we saw earlier, and the Morgan, there's also a new rideable creature, the Askspin, but they're not friendly. You will have to tame them first, followed by the Fallen Valkyrie, and then we get to the good stuff. We now have two siege engines, the Battering Ram and the Catapult. Now, the, the fortresses that you, you need to penetrate to get the resources, they are impervious to small arms damage. So you're going to be needing to use these in order to penetrate the walls. And then we finish off the trailer. And I must admit, I, I loved it. I thought it was a fantastic trailer to, to show off the Ashlands, but it doesn't cover everything. Along with the 30 plus new weapons, there are also new bombs and ammunition for your weapons, including smoke bombs, the basalt, 
basalt bomb, uh, explosive payloads for your catapult and other payloads, though you can chuck just about anything by the looks of it. There's also charred arrows and bolts. You can also combine your flame weapons with bloodstone, lolite, and jade to give them magical improvements as well. And there are th three new armor sets, both the armor of Embla and also Ask, and then the third one being the flame metal armor that we've already seen. We also have two new capes, the Ask Spin, with cape that allows you to run faster when you're running alongside the wind very much like um, how a ship sails in Valheim as well with the wind and then we also have the ashen cape which has a selection of bonuses that reduce stamina consumption and on top of the weapons the armor and the enemies there's also a selection of over 70 new buildables based around two new materials for building which is ash wood harvested from the ashland trees that i covered earlier and grouston which is the stone that you can find um, littered throughout now between them there's a huge selection of buildables to play around with and i'm looking forward to showing off some new builds using these along with the new furniture pieces which include uh, a new bed new rugs new pots and probably the most important new buildable that we have is the stone portal now this works exactly the same as the normal portals except there are no resource restrictions so you can take oars between bases now which i know a lot of you will appreciate we also have 30 new crafting materials to play around with and we also have over 15 new foods available as well and there's also some really big game well there's a really big game mechanic change in ashlands as well so fires can now spread to buildables in the ashlands so you have to be careful with what resource you're building with um, another thing that you can do if you want to challenge yourself now is there's the option for all locations to be affected by this if you start a new game. This is actually the perfect opportunity to start a server over with friends if you're looking for a more challenging Valheim. So if you are planning on doing that, do make sure to check out our channel's partner, Low.ms, who provide dedicated servers for many games, including Valheim, and I've been using them exclusively for the past few years. Now, if you are wanting to use them, you can get 20% off your first month by using the link in the description below and the code Total Eclipse at checkout. And better yet, you'll be supporting the content that I do on here, allowing me to produce more content on Valheim like this. Now, we've covered most of the newer enemies, but there are the Chard, which we haven't gone into details. The Chard have a selection of skeleton enemies, including warriors, archers, and a warlock, and there's also a twitcher. They'll also often be accompanied by skug turrets if you're attacking their fortresses as well, so just be aware of that. Uh, another enemy is the lava blobs, that you'll have to contend with and depending on if you're friends or not with the Dverga, probably pronounced that wrong again uh, there's a new redbeard Dverga. now if you don't like spoilers do look away now there is a new mini boss and the biome boss as well in order to unlock the boss you're going to have to collect bell shards and use them to produce bells so that you can summon the jade dragon now the power gained from killing it is a 10% speed buff and a considerable plus 300 max carry weight. Now overall the update offers a lot of new things to play around with and I know for one I will be jumping back in and starting a new playthrough for Valheim. Let me know if you'd like me to make it a YouTube series in the comments below but rest assured I have a lot of content planned to share with you over the coming weeks. Guys thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to all of our supporters on Patreon. Most notably our Solo Clips Patreon, Firefless as well as our Lunas, The Calamity, Ben and Star as well as our Blood Moon of the Day which today is the Viking Brit. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.